Well, many times on this program, we have seen the reactions of surprise and shock when we reported that in the United States, gays and lesbians can marry, but here in Germany, it remains illegal. Now, same-sex couples are also not allowed to adopt children here. Well, this appears to be a clear case of the law and the will of the people not being in sync. A new government report on attitudes towards LGBT people here in Germany shows that three-fourths of the population support gay marriage and adoption rights for same-sex couples. Pictures of one of the first same-sex weddings in Germany. That was more than 15 years ago. Since then, there have been tens of thousands of celebrations like this. But the so-called same-sex marriage is only a registered civil partnership and does not include the legally binding advantages of a traditional marriage. Authors of this study say this has got to change. We aren't trying to institute special rules. We just want equal rights so that it's considered perfectly normal to be gay or lesbian. The survey found that almost 83% of Germans are pro-same-sex marriage. And 76% support a gay couple's right to adopt children. Germany is indeed tolerant. One thing that helped was when famous politicians came out. One of the first to do so was former Berlin mayor Klaus Wowereit, seen here on Gay Pride Day. This was many years ago as well. But only a short while ago, former national football player Thomas Hitzelsperger made headlines with his coming out. Now that was a surprise for many. People may think I have to change my idea of gay men. This is a good lesson for heterosexuals. But the closer the topic homosexuality gets to home, the less acceptance it gets. 12% of Germans would feel uncomfortable with a homosexual at their workplace, and 40% would prefer not to have a gay son or lesbian daughter. Acceptance for lesbians and gays, according to this study, is directly correlated to education. So the bottom line is that this topic must be discussed in schools, where the word gay is still often used as an insult. Well, I'm joined now here at the big table by Gudrun Fertisch. She is the publisher of the magazine Siegesäule and El Mag. Siegesäule is the Correct. largest city magazine here in Berlin, right? Yeah, Gudrun? that's true. Maybe surprising, but it's it's true. Yeah. And these that's magazines are for LGBT readers. And I have to ask you, what do you think, first of all, when you look at this study? Why yeah. is the the law in Germany behind public opinion? I think really the German government is constantly underestimating uh, people's support for gay marriage and for gay adoption and also for lesbian adoption. They are constantly underestimating this, uh, the support of the people. I don't know why, it's just because I think they're looking at the right-wing voters and they want to serve them, but uh, they are not serving the majority of Germany. The German Chancellor, Angela Merkel, if you remember, in the, the last campaign, there was a, a, a like a town hall debate, and she was asked about adoption yeah, yeah. and gay couples, and she said that she didn't think that it was in the best interest of the children. Yes, and she also said before <clears throat> that she has a strange feeling to hear about gay marriage. It's like, what is it, a feeling, talking about, about politics, you know? It's like, I don't know what she well, means. Do you <laughs> think that, you know, I mean, she's human, like everyone else. Um, <laughs> Barack Obama also said the same yeah, thing, yeah. you know, not that long ago. Yeah, and yeah, he, yeah. he said that he had had also an evolution in his thinking. Do you yes. think that's something that we could see in you know, the, the head of the country? Maybe, I hope so, but I'm not really sure if she's really talking about her personal feelings or if she's not only tactical, thinking about the political outcome in this case. I'm not sure about that. I mean, well, that's quite an indictment, isn't it? So in <laughs> other words, you're, you're saying that the reason you can't get married is because the, the head of the government is just thinking about maintaining power and not it's, about the people. It's my personal opinion and also the, the things how we in our daily business um, look at this form of politics. And if you, if you talk personally with a lot of right-wing politicians from the CDU, you hear a lot of openness. So I think it's really tactics. Um, this study also found, well, it said that most Germans are in support of gay marriage and adoption yes. by gays. It also said that most people still say they feel uneasy and maybe even uncomfortable when they see two men or two women yeah. on the street yeah. showing affection for each other. Yeah, 
I think this is the general storyline of the results of, this, of the study. There is a support for anti-discrimination laws and even for gay marriage, but there are some limits. And if, it's, if it gets too offensive and uh, people are skeptical, even and also if it gets too close to their private life, they also say if the imagin imagination that my son or my daughter would be homosexual, mm -hmm. they're they are way more skeptical than talking about homosexuals in general mm -hmm. from a more distance view. This study also said that the more religious people are, the, the less tolerant they are. I mean, Germany is a very secular country, but... You have also you have it immigrants depends. coming if in. If you look to religious. Bavaria or if you look to Berlin, it's very di very different. But what about the influx of migrants into the country? That's a big discussion here, and we know that they are coming from countries that where the religiosity is very high. Yeah, but there was also another study who said that also the majority of migrants or maybe their children are very much supportive to homosexuals. So I, I think it's more about religion. And uh, the more radical religious you are, the more anti-homo you are, mm -hmm. but the more open-minded you are. So this, this, this is not like, I think this is not the point. I think the point is, um, what is what is under the surface of uh, acceptance of anti-discrimination laws and of this legal thing? Mm -hmm. You easily can remove laws, uh, even if, we, if you look at the new movements coming up. So, but what is, what, is, what is under the surface? How mm. much of this uh, cultural and social acceptance will last? Yeah, well, how will so it last? I, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and what about what's going to happen? You know, we've got elections coming up this year. You've got a, a party, the AFD, here, yes. that they're, they're against um, gay marriage. And yeah. they're, they're winning in support. Even I mean, if a lot of gay and lesbians are part of the party, yeah. there are uh, gays who have an, an official position in the AFD party. Yeah. So this is really, like, crazy. I can't get it, but, you know, yeah. Yeah. All right. Gudrun Fertig, the publisher of Ziegazoli magazine and Elmag here yeah. in Berlin. Gudrun, thank you very much for taking the time to be on the day. We Thanks appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Bye, Brian. All right. Even as the day ends, the conversation continues online. You'll find us on Twitter, either at DW News, or you can write to me directly at Brent Goff TV. And don't forget to use the hashtag the day. And remember, whatever happens between now and then, tomorrow is another day. We'll see you then, everybody. <laughs>